What is up guys, Bob Gary here playing some Oketra's Monument in Modern. Let's see how this goes. Looks like we are on the draw this time. We lost the die roll. Seems a little flooded, doesn't look super keepable. Kinda wanna mulligan it. Like I could keep it and it wouldn't be the worst, but it's not the best. I think this is better, although also not great. Let's leave that on top, it gives us a turn one play at least. And we got turn two plays also. Again, not the best, but could be much worse. Um, we'll see what our opponent's up to. I do have a little bit of a nombo in that Honor the Pure does not combo super well with Mentor of the Meek. But Mentor of the Meek is a pretty good card in this deck just because we're running all weenies and we kind of want to draw ourselves out of bad spots. Two Briggs Flooded Strand gets something. So it's Abzan. What you got for me, Abzan opponent? Okay, gain me some life. Um, I think for right now I'm going to say... Uh... Can't I say always yes, always yield here? I guess not. Well, I will use it this time then. A little weird that it didn't let me say always yes, always yield, but whatever. Not gonna dwell on that. Uh, this one's looking like a harder matchup than the last one for sure. Although Saturday Wayfinder is not particularly scary to us. One, two, three, four, five. Probably Squadron Hawk next turn, especially because we don't really want to draw extra squadron hawks. We'd much rather draw lands or some of our powerful combo pieces or something. Um, so just good to get that down and out of our hand, I think. Not sure what my opponent is up to yet. They obviously have a very expensive land base. Uh, do I have to go over here to see what they put into their hand? Put Overgrown Tomb into their hand and the rest went into their graveyard. So I guess I don't really need any of the revealed. Okay, unbur so they're doing unburial rights things. All right, they might just beat us with unburial rights. Certainly possible. Um, nothing to unburial rights back yet, but they might find another way to put stuff there. I draw another plane. It's not the worst. It means I get to mentor next turn. Uh, no reason to use Westfail here. I'm just going to run out the planes. Not that Westfail would be terribly bad to play, but I am going to go with my original play. Let's squadron hawk it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so we can get all three, and we probably should just because we want to get as much out of our hands as we can, um, out of the deck as we can, because like I said, drawing them is super punishing when they're basically free draws for us. Um, and this time it lets me say always yes, always yield, so I'll say that. Yeah. This one I don't get to say, I guess I could say always yield, but I don't get to say always yes. But I think it makes me do it per guy anyway, so it's not super useful. Let's grab all the squadron hawks. There we go. Okay. Not going to attack into the wayfinder. Probably not worth it for me. I could play a single honor the pure and still trigger mentor off of the squadron hawks. Might be worth it. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably playing Mentor unless I top deck Monument. Four mana, Tireless Tracker, short. Yeah, sure, he can get in with that, that's fine. I'll take one damage. Draw for turn is, well, that does make things interesting. I can either play Mentor the Meek or I could play like Squadron Hawk plus Souls Attendant. I think I'm gonna play Mentor the Meek first. Get in with a uh, Squadron Hawk here. He hasn't played anything super scary to me yet, although his deck certainly looks powerful. It looks like, I mean, he's running uh, on burial rights for something, which is terrifying. I just, he hasn't shown me what yet. 
What if your goose code is my Westfield library or anything? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like he just gets in. Sure, I can dig it. And I could have double blocked and killed it, I guess, but maybe that wouldn't have even worked because he could have paid all four mana and goose courted his own land. Uh, nothing yet. Probably collected company, I'm guessing, maybe. That's my thought. Well, we drew another land. That's handy for us. I'm going to start off with Soul's Attendant and pay an extra one for the draw here because... I definitely want to get to my more combo-y pieces. Okay. That one does feel like it would be pretty good, so let's just play that out. Do not get to use Mentor here, but I do get a 4-4. Four, four. Um, well... Always yes, always yield. So he's going to go up to a 4 4 here. Always yes to this one too. Um, so we're starting to get our Pride Mate underway. Um, like I said, I'm kind of assuming, well, one, he could activate Hiss and Quagmire, and two, I'm kind of assuming he could have like Collected Company or something in that range. So I think I feel a little more comfortable just swinging with the Squadron Hawk, non tagging with the Mentor, because I don't want to get blown out by that. Four mana. Oh, yeah, it's Restoration Angel. Sure. Same idea. Makes my Pride Mate a 6-6. Six, six, and probably just Blink's Wayfinder to get another mill. Makes sense to me. And he gets to just eat my bird, which sucks for me, but not the end of the world. Um, did it say what he ate, what he took? It says he took... More on burial rights, still nothing. Uh, Lingering Souls is going to be annoying, but nothing scary in his graveyard yet. Uh, no cards is into their hand. Oh, interesting. But they could have put cards into their hand, right? Like, there was a lane in that bunch. Lingering Souls and burial rights, fatal push, and forest into their graveyard. Yeah, they could have put... Yeah, I don't quite understand that, but... They probably had a good reason to do that. I, it probably just isn't obvious to me what their deck is doing yet. Well, my Johnny's Pride Mate's an 88. That's pretty sweet. Okay, another land, another tireless tracky clue. Path to Exile, sure. Pretty good for me. Gets me another land. It's going to be pretty useful. I'll get a Plains. Okay, I'll take it. He can make his guy bigger if he wants to. Looks like he's going to. Crack a couple clues. Yep. I'm at 27 life, so even this is probably going to put me back to full life. And I still feel like I should have the long game here. As much as he's gaining cards at a rate of like 2 mana per card, I can gain another rate of 1 mana per card. So I'm not, again, I'm not super worried yet. Um, I definitely would be in a lot better shape if I could combo off here. Um, which I don't see happening yet, but well, we got to see what happens. Well, there's the Oketra's Monument, so let's uh, let's start with Oketra's Monument. All right. Um, then it's a matter of whether I want to draw off the Squadron Hawk or not. Part of me wants to. That might be the wrong thing to do. So I could draw here. That means that if I draw here, I can't play second Squadron Hawk, but I get uh, another shot at land, for instance, because I haven't played my land drop for turn. I don't know why he's sitting there. He gives up. He thinks now that we have a Ketra's Monument in play, he can't win. I don't know if that's true. Like, he has those Unreal rates feel like they'd be good, but maybe he doesn't have the right thing. I don't know. I'm super surprised he gave up there, but uh, 
I don't really know what he's up to. I mean, Tormod's Crypt feels like it could be good against him. Um, likewise, Fiend Hunter doesn't seem terrible. Dusk Dawn doesn't seem terrible. Yeah, maybe I run Dusk Dawn. The two scary threats he showed me both had more than two life. So I think we bring in the one of Dusk Dawn. Could go up Tormod's Crypt. He was doing some graveyard stuff, but I don't know how much. I could go up Bygone Bishop just because a flying blocker could be nice. Um, I'm going to go down a Wall of Omens, although that doesn't seem terrible in the matchup, but he's not very aggressive, so I don't think that's important. Maybe just a Wall of Omens for Dust Dawn and run it. I might get more. I don't know what his deck is doing exactly. I might get more information um, in the next, next uh, match. That's my hope. Get a little bit more info, figure out what's going on. Um, One lander. God, uh, this has like everything we want other than the fact that we're stuck on one land. I think we have to... I could keep, but it would be super risky. Oh, but it's so good. Double monument, so even if he has a kill spell for a monument... Just play another one down. You got the Ajani uh, Soul Attendant combo. Um, got a Thraven Inspector. Got Squadron Hawk. God, it feels so good. I'm going to keep it and try it. I don't know. This is probably wrong. I think keeping a one laner is almost always wrong. We do have things for two turns at least, and we do get a couple extra draw steps off of being on the draw. So it's not quite as risky as it might otherwise be, but probably too risky. Okay, land, he passes, I get. Please be a land, yes, hey, play poorly, get rewarded. I like it, soul attendant. Next turn, pride mate, he paths pride mate, I play monument. I, I mean, I could, play, I could play hawk next turn instead if I'm worried about that line, but. He could fatal push here too if he wants to, looks like he probably will. Fatal push. Got it. That's not a super big deal to me. That does not incentivize playing Pride Mate here, so probably won't bother. Um, probably I'll just play Squadron Hawk and get a couple Hawks out of my deck. Not going to be able to get them all out, unfortunately, but that's all right. Inquisition, short, take your pick. Squadron Hawk actually might be the right pick here. I think I would take Squadron Hawk. Johnny's Pride Mate can get out of hand, especially if he doesn't have an answer for it. Yep, he took Squadron Hawk. That's correct, just because that lets me go off harder. Land. Given that I drew a land, I think I can Pride Mate. Otherwise, I might throw even Inspector to make sure I can hit land next turn. Okay. Oh, he was stuck on one land. Oh, that's interesting. Well, he's got two lands now. Another fatal push. Short. Sure. Well, he had all the disruption. Don't know if it'll be enough or not. It might be. I'm getting more and more lands. Probably a few too many lands, but that's all right. Okay. The one for one removal ain't going to work once I get this train rolling. Okay, Ghost Quarters, I like it. He got up to three mana this time. What's he got? Oh, he does have Rex Age. I was worried he might have that. That's fine. I mean, if he gets second Rex Age, I'm in trouble. But, I mean, if he's running that well, if he drew, like, literally every sideboard card in his deck, there's not that much I'm going to be able to say other than good beats, you know? It's like, if your opponent has good beats, they have good beats. That's the way it goes. Okay. I mean, he's kind of getting punished, too, for not taking the uh, Monument with Inquisition. Like, even even if this is all I get off the Monument, it's still pretty good value, so... Um, probably hurt himself a little bit there. Down to three cards in hand, too. Um, feels like we're gr outgrinding value-wise, but, yeah, doesn't mean we're going to win, obviously. 
Oh, he hit three lane drops in a row, which is uh, super, super good for him. And that probably means, given that he hit three lane drops in a row, I'm guessing this is Restoration Angel to kill Monument by blinking Reclamation Sage. Nope, maybe just another Rex Sage. Nope, I was right. Oh, Siege Rhino. Oh, Siege Rhino's not so bad. Okay, Siege Rhino's fine. Uh, Restoration Angel would have been a super big blow compared to that. So that doesn't, that doesn't bother me too much. All right, do need to draw some action here, though. White main lion. Well, that is going to be pretty good. I think I'm just going to pass turn. Um, I can make five one ones in instant speed right now. Oh, yeah, now he's flooded somehow. Okay. Well, I'm going to play down white main lion. Make a token. Put a white main lion down. Bounce white main lion. The token. I'm gonna do this a whole bunch until I get five tokens. All right, he gives up again. We won. We won the match. Sweet! I mean, it worked pretty well there. We got our combos off more or less. We were going to get five tokens, block against this four or five, I and mean, we didn't really even need to necessarily do that. But I was going to. I should have probably going to block like six guys against him because I had three more, at least six, maybe all seven against him just to make sure he died. Um, yeah, I'd probably block all seven against him because he's not really incentivized to kill the three of Spectre anyway. So, sweet! Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.